Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. They found the drone. Yes, where do you think they found the drone? <laughs> By a, a, a Russian military base <laughs> in Sevastopol. Uh, they didn't find it, you know, like in the base, uh, not even in the basement of the base, but they found it in the water and in the water by a military base. Hmm. I thought they, that drone was just minding its own business. When the evil Russians just, you know, burged in, you know, with those uh, rookies that did that fantastic maneuver, I would say. That was a masterful maneuver that pilot did. I made a video with, uh, um, I made a video earlier today with the video included. That was a fantastic move. I don't care if there's a Chinese, American, French or uh, Israeli. That was a great move from the Suhoi 27. Anyway, what happened? Well, they found the drone. Yes, that drone that Mr. Kirkby, you know Kirkby, the spokesperson of the White House? Yeah, he said that oh, the, the drone fell in the uh, Black Sea and the Black Sea is black so we can find it. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, and they found it, obviously. So let's read this little article here from Ukrainska Pravda, March 16th. So American drone lost. <laughs> it was lost. <laughs> and you mean down in the Black Sea? Found, lost and found near main Russian base in Crimea. And uh, are you going to, you know, uh, again, accuse the Russians for overreacting? Obviously, this is from Ukrainska Pravda, so probably going to hear something about uh, being far away, near, near, <laughs> that's the key word. The American MQ-9 Reaper UAV, which fell, well, it fell so it, or it was downed into the Black Sea due to the actions of a Russian fighter jet, was located near the Russian base in Sevastopol. Yeah, okay, what the hell were you doing over there? American drone by my military base. Uh, source, Defense Express. Uh, Defense Express, let's see. Analysts compared the coastline, coastline in the video with Google, asked Google Earth data and came to the conclusion that it is most likely the area southwest of Sevastopol, end quote. So uh, they saw the, the, so the drone, you see the drone right here? This is what the drone saw. So, <laughs> Wow! And they say this is 20 kilometers here? 22 kilometers from the coastline? That's not 22 kilometers. And I will tell you exactly why. Okay, so the publication cited US data that the MQ-9 Reaper was in neutral airspace that is at least 20 kilometers from the coastline. Okay, well, all, all right. Let's, let's figure things out, my friends. And because I want to be accurate, okay, I'm going to use a, a site to, told, to tell you how far is the line of the horizon. So far, how far we ac actually see, you know, where the horizon is. And I think it was uh, somewhere I found a different uh, um, uh, distance than this one, but I'm gonna use this one since uh, 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 it works in my favor. So let's see. Um, according to this life science, okay, I don't know what this is, but I'm just gonna use it. It says, how far away is the horizon? And it says here, the old saying turns out to be true, just about true. For a six foot, which is 182 uh, centimeters tall person, the horizon is a little more than three miles, five kilometers away. Well, obviously, if you start climbing, uh, uh, that becomes further, okay? But the reason why I'm making this is obvious. So again, I looked at another one and it says that uh, how far away from the horizon is for Science ABC when you're looking at it from a beach and it's a beach yeah, it's approximately 4.5 kilometers okay away from a person whose eye height is 1.5 meters which is a very short woman if there is one so anyway so this guy here i think these guys were more accurate for a person of six foot tall now let's go back to this picture how and you see the drone right here how high do you how high do you think this is and how close do you think that is? Let's go to this one. How far do you think this is? Um, three kilometers? 
four kilometers, that's definitely not 25 kilometers. Uh, looking at this, right, with all this. But anyway, what do I know? And I don't believe this is more than 20 kilometers from this coast that they show us here. It's the reason why they show us here and not show further down like they show it right here. See how they show it right here? They don't show it here, not because they couldn't. I tell you why, because in the video that you see, in the video that you see the the fighter jets fighter jet coming from behind, <laughs> all right, coming from behind, uh, the the camera moves and is down and up. It it, it moves. It's not like fixed, you know, and this guy comes. No, it comes. <laughs> From behind comes. Anyway, so it moves. So when it goes around over there, when you see all that, that was definitely edited to make the point, oh, it was more than 22 miles. I do not. I challenge that. That's not. Challenge that. That's picked. Oh, we're going to pick this one. We're going to crop it a little bit. It doesn't show the distance from here, like the, the water, because that would be too obvious. You can, <laughs> all right? We're going to show just the top. And Weasel's like him, her, and him, or her, and him, and her, and so on. They will not be able to figure out. But we figured it out. Look at the, again at, at the pictures, okay? Look at that. How they did it, you know? Like, oh my God, uh, you, you see how this is? This is a uh, very big rectangular with this very small uh, side and this very long. If you look at the video, and I'm going to show you the video coming from the, from the camera of the drone, it's not like this, but on the contrary, it's like you see both in the same, like this square almost. Let me find one, okay? All right, ready, my friends? You see this little thing here, this corner here, these things here? Now look at them, how big they really are. You see? You see how they big are on this video? You see how they big, the small really are. So the drone's video is like this wide. You see how big it is? Everywhere when I look here, you see? You see how small it is? And compare that with this. So obviously that would have been bigger, either up and down. So they cropped this. Look at this and look at that. You see that? And that, th those things, how wide they should be at least one more time to the right. And how many times on top? Two times and a little bit down there. And how much they have it? They don't have anything down uh, on the top. You say, well, maybe only that was relevant. Do you think this is the only footage? This is a video. They, 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 didn't, they didn't take pictures. This is videos. If you look at these things, these are videos right here. And the camera, you see how sees here it shows the 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 sea only and here you see the back the horizon in the back so this camera was moving my friends all these frames right here look how small this is the focus that's the one it is the focus and look at this focus so this picture should have been like this big at least but they don't show you the bottom because they don't want to show you this how close that is oh man who do you think you fool thus the american drone really got close to the base and they said it was Neutral airspace, that is at least 20 kilometers from coastline. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thus, the American drone really got close to the base of the Russian Federation and at the time, the same time, could conduct optical rec reconnaissance thanks to the cameras. Not only the main naval base of the Russian Federation, but also the air bases near Sevastopol, in particular Belbek, a military airfield in Sevastopol, where in the drone's field of view from 20 kilometers. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's about what? Uh, 16 miles or something? Thank you very much. So here we have this little thing here that they tell you what happened. Again, I'm going to put this back here and you guys be the judge. I mean, look at this. This is uh, this picture versus this picture or this one. You see how square they are? At least square. And this is all from the Americans, uh, you know, look, 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 look at this one if you want. This was cut probably from this side a little bit. But I'm talking about the size of the focus compared with the whole thing. Size of the focus compared, compared with the whole thing. Weasels? Definitely. Definitely. And by the way, I fly so I know kind of different. I, I do fly and not in my head. I fly, actively fly. And look at these things right here. All right? Look at these things. If from here, those things are, let's say, maybe 80 meters. I don't think they're higher than 80 meters right there. If this is the sea level, there's no meter right here. It's a beach close to you. This is, I, I wouldn't say 
two miles from this. I don't think it's two miles. If it is, you can also look at the curve, cur curve, uh, curvature, how do you want to call it, of the horizon. And you also see that you don't even see it. How should I put it? Not that. Well, the higher, the higher the altitude, the more the uh, curvature, or how do you, do you call that? You, you're going to see it in the, in a, the, but anyway, you can really uh, see it here. You have to be very high. And this is, here is much higher than in the other article, which is right here. But maybe they zoomed in. That's another possibility. But even if you zoom in, uh, the fact that they gave me just this, it's at least suspicious. So you make your own, uh, you make your own uh, assessment on this. I make mine. And mine is first, why don't you show me the video, not show me the picture. You have the video. You showed me the video with the airplane coming on two occasions because it fits your narrative and you liked it. Now you show me a picture. I don't want to see. I want to see the video that I know you have it and you have more than that video. So besides, they can show you a video when the drone was, was far or they can show you the video when the drone was close before it was uh, uh, uh. You know, uh, please, man. I mean, this is just uh, just ph photography. This is just, you know, way of uh, fooling people. And I can tell you more. Just make your, uh, I can, but I don't want to. Just <laughs> look over that and you tell me. That's based on what they gave us. That's to make, remember, that video, that picture they, get, they provided is to convince us. So that's the best one they could post over there to convince us they were more than 22 kilometers. I do not believe. How high was it? Uh, I would say based on uh, that picture, which I don't know how focus is, maybe two, two, uh, 200 meters. No more than 200 meters. Well, if you look at 200 meters high up, you can make a calculation and I don't have time to do that, a little bit of geometry to tell you how far probably is that based on that. But the problem will come, probably, probably the Russians will come and say, well, there was about two to four kilometers at most. I'm waiting. Remember, we meet again. See you later. See you later, crocodile. <laughs> at least I'm in a good mood. I hope you are too. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just. <laughs>